Need them start right, on PC. Get right Again, it. these flat starts. Catches a missed tech, but managed to tech on the platform. Gets him out of that. <laughs> oh, oh dude, jump, I but... hate that. Screw meteors. <laughs> Make it all spike. Make them all spikes, dude. <laughs> I want to see destruction. Yeah. Yeah, even if they, there was just like, uh, like a frame timing where you couldn't meter cancel, it'd be very helpful. But, gets a jab and grabs on the dash away. Gets the grab again. And the one thing that I've noticed with Hita, like maybe it'll be no like noticeable in this set, but when they played at the practice tournament, was like, Hita's... Oh, nah, that's not gonna be it yet. Um, Hita wouldn't do like the chain grab or anything versus DK. Oh yeah, and the one crazy thing about... Oh, doesn't get the edge guard. Came so fast paced, I don't have time to comment on certain stuff, but... Is that gonna be it? Okay, so the one thing about Sheik in this game versus DK especially, but versus a lot of like those kind of like heavy fast fly characters like Ichigo and stuff too, is that her down throw. Oh, I'm gonna get an extended punish off that. Nope. Basically, she has a down throw chain grab that leads directly into down throw up smash tipper, which kills at like 100. So. Her chain grab can be a zero to death. What? Obviously, you can get. Yeah. I need to see this. more on like flat stages. Like, it's, it's not like, gonna apply any other as much on here. Like the one flat what? stage that we're gonna see once per tournament. <laughs> the sandbag <laughs> stage. Because yeah. everyone's or gonna even ban SV, it. But I mean, like, SV on the platform can interrupt. But she does genuinely have like a down throw chain grab, and then after that percent, you immediately can start down throw up smashing. But Yida okay. doesn't do that, so we're just gonna have to kind of see what the punch is gonna be like on the fly. The back air coming out. That's not gonna be it. DK heavy fast volley. Back air, almost gonna be it. Uh, Down yeah. Throw up air, and that's gonna be it. Uh, yeah. You could. It's Vars can enter melee, yeah. But he has to be fast. <laughs> Because I think registration for melee is closing pretty soon. So I think you gotta be pretty fast. If it ends up not working, just messes me or don't or something. But yeah. I think uh, and be fast. It up. <laughs> okay, so I believe he caught his jump earlier too, so he's just gonna have to bouncing fix. But he managed to get back on ledge. Down throw. Oh, yeah, he tries to catch like a jump or something, but he already used the jump, so he just gets hit by the LP. Yeah, and that weak backer is just gonna kill a combo right there. And he does like trying not to get hit. So, one thing, like, yeah, down throw, fair. It's pretty hard to grab that, like, up B timing, but... Basically, one thing... I'm gonna do it? Nope. Not at half percent. You got down throw, finish. Yeah, and Hida missing these confirms, while Bash is, like, up, just because basically never gonna miss his. Oh. Nah, that's not gonna be it. I'm surprised I never see people do the normal stance that you do in melee. Forward air. Alright, oh. hold on. I need to interrupt real quick. I want because people ask me with it. The melee, so guys, melee registration is about to close very shortly. So if you want to get into the melee bracket, uh, go to smash.gg slash FPS online and quickly sign up for the melee bracket because I think at some point tonight it ends. So make sure to uh, sign up tonight ASAP because registration is closing soon. And as far as the top four thing, it's the top four people who aren't ranked. So let's say somebody wins it. Let's say Zayn entered and Zayn won the tournament, but he's already qualified. Then it would be second, third, fourth, fifth, or something like that. That would be uh, get, getting getting the spot. So yeah, it's not too hard to qualify. It, it, so he should be fine. But yeah, he has to do it pretty soon because registration actually closes tonight. I don't know exactly what time tonight, but it's I wouldn't I wouldn't wait. <laughs> All right, we can continue set. 
Mm -hmm. All right. So, Kita barely kind of losing that game. And he's going to go to a triplat. Yeah, we see, like, the more triplats or platform stages in general in, like, game two because of the, kind of that aspect of the stage list. But also, I'm honestly surprised that Hida didn't end up going a flat. Even though it's typically good for DK, when you have a chain grab on DK, it's pretty good. But who am I to say that when he just opened up that strong? Oh, and Four there. Neutral. That's so good. Yeah. And it looks so easy. By the way, thank you, Dat. Uh, Dat one. Poor Poise for the tier one. Thank you so much for your support. Yeah, and in that situation, I feel like he could have done the neutral up B. Because he, he does play on keyboard. Oh, and that bouncy fish is so negative. Like, again, we keep seeing how... He gets nothing after that. Time that refresh. Yeah, and then he does the, the neutral up B, but in that situation, I think he was too low. And also, Bash covered it with his hit up. Oh, does he edge cancel? But <laughs> mostly for sure at that point. And that initial dash drop is really crazy with Sheik, but we haven't really get to see it used like that. And he does manage to get the grab right there. And really bad to get out of that, that fair right there. The DK's grab combos, are, they look really, really... Like, it doesn't matter the matchup, he just grabs you. Down for fair at like 90, you're dead. Grab to zero, upper, upper, upper. Oh, unless, right unless he wants to prove me wrong in forward throw up air, which still work combo. Forward. Oh, up air. Sheik's always the angle way. Yeah. Nah. But I don't blame him for going for it. <laughs> like in that situation, especially when you're up this much. That was really good option coverage, but he doesn't end up covering the actual option he chooses, unfortunately. That was really weird in there. And that fair right there. Yeah, one thing at high percent versus DK, obviously the whole game you're going to be trying to avoid DK grabbing you. Um, so a lot of people like to, to jump a lot, especially because this game rewards jumping a lot. And just being in the air, we already know that. Yeah, because um, you can't air those it hits. So, it, it's especially at high percent, so you're just going to be jumping at high percent, not trying to get grabbed, and then you're going to get hit by fair. So that's why a lot of the DK players just throw out fair a lot. Plus, it's like, it's one of those moves where it's like, okay, most of the time when they hit, like, hit me for doing it, I'm not going to take, like, a, a death punish. But if I hit them any of the times I throw it out, then they're going to die, so... It's really good risk reward. <laughs> oh, and no. Oh, got him anyway. Wow. Covers the meter cancel really well right there. Yeah, and he just tries to do the neutral. Yeah, she could have went to a platform, but didn't. Yeah. A little bit of option paralysis right there when you have a bunch of options for recovery. Oh, and... Uh, never mind. I can see why uh, it would be broken if it was... <laughs> the fact that you combo into it... Okay, yeah, this is... Oh. Alright, he's because he's kind of insane, <laughs> dude. He's like, he is a bit crazy too. But like, he like these other players just aren't punishing him hard at all. Like they drop punishes, which it it's harder online. It's harder online. Because they, that is true. But the DK players are landing their punishes online, so like that that's that's the, that becomes the issue when um, the other players aren't keeping up. Which no, I agree with you, but yeah, it's a. The fact that more than one DKs are doing it is also in everything. Yeah, but they're also like both top players with every character. No, I but agree. But also, I get what you mean. I get it what you is, mean. They, yeah, yeah, coincidentally, I get what you mean. the top like, players also use the character. I'm just saying yeah, what I'm observing. Yeah, I don't want to take away to be like, play this character if you want to do well. Because <laughs> I don't think everybody's going to pick up this character and see the results they want to. 
Oh, but he does cover that situation really well. <laughs> that was and so funny. Covers that option. Yeah, that's so, that that is gonna be funny. Back throw right there. Kind of weird that he doesn't do anything else, but I mean it works out. And he just kind of getting ran over, kind of like we saw in the practice tournament before this. Um, DK versus Sheik. Oh, oh, oh trying to cover everything to cover. except roll to the right. Yeah. <laughs> Really rough for Hita, but if there any character can do this at this moment, it's probably Sheik. But that was really scary. Oh my god. He was like a little bit off, he would have died just for messing up that up and stuff. Up throw. No, you're not. <laughs> up throw punch is really hard to land online because punch, like, it takes some foresight to know exactly where they're getting the DI for it. Oh, and that Naren, that's gonna be it. Well, all right. Now I think top three sets is the next one, winner's finals. All right, about to get into yeah. winner's finals in a very shortly. We have top three MKZ sets. and the two DKs in the top three. What?